Hi YouTube, welcome back to the A Plus Show and this is A Plus Blonde and I am going to be giving you a compare and contrast of two of my favorite beauty products. So if you're like me and you wear makeup all the time, these are like two vital components of my facial routine. And if you don't wear makeup all the time, you can still use these products just as well. And the two products that I'm talking about are the Matte Mineralized Volcanic Ash Exfoliator and the Mary Kay Microabrasion uh, Timewise Set. Let's first talk about the Mary Kay Microdermabrasion Set. Okay, this set is a total of $55 and you can get it from a Mary Kay Beauty Consultant only. And what it is, is a step one and then a step two. Okay, so step one, it says it's for dry to oily skin and you cleanse your face and then you apply a quarter size amount <clears throat> of the step one to a wet face and then you just scrub. I also use this in conjunction with the Mary Kay uh, face brush and so it works very, very well with that. But you can use your fingertips if you would like. And so after you uh, scrub it all over your face, you just wash with warm water and then pat dry. And then for step two, this is your moisturizer. This is to replenish all of the um, oil that you took out of your face when you were using the step one. And so it's very light. Um, it doesn't have a scent. It's almost, it's, it's so light. It's almost like transparent that you can kind of see through it, but it does have like a pinkish tone to it. And basically you just use this as your moisturizer after you have uh, scrubbed your face with the exfoliant. So let me talk about how I feel about it. It's a good product for the price and it can last three months or more depending on your usage. Now it does have the um, the like the crystals in it. So when you're scrubbing it on your face, you will feel the product on your skin. I absolutely love it. It's just like an exfoliant treatment that you can do at home for you know a fraction of the price and you could just you know be at home and do it once a week twice a week i wouldn't do it any more than twice a week because it's really really grainy and it really really does scrub that dead skin and makeup and dirt and oil off of your face so typically when i like to use this product is when i have steamed my face with my facial steamer and then i go directly in with this to really really get what dirt or oil that the steamer might just not have uh, been able to seep out. So you have to be careful with this. You don't want to get it in your eyes. It's very grainy and I did that one time. So as I said before, I use the scrubbing brush and so I have to make sure that I close my eyes when I use it. I like to scrub my face with it for like a minute and a half. Just all over for about a minute and a half to two minutes and I feel like that's enough. It does give a really, really, really deep, just superb cleaning to your face so that's why I say I wouldn't use it any more than twice a week and for those with sensitive skin you just have to kind of play around with it to see you know what's functional for you so after I do step one I just rinse that off with some warm water pat my face dry and then I go in with my step two replenish now because the step one is like a at-home microdermabrasion type treatment it is kind of hard, so you do strip your face of a lot of the things that your body just produces naturally. So you want to definitely go in with a great moisturizer and make sure you get all of that back so your body doesn't go into overdrive trying to um, replenish itself um, from the oil that you strip from it. So that's where step two comes in. And sometimes I will use step two when I use my other exfoliant uh, treatment and I'll show you that in a moment. But most of the time I use it just in conjunction with the Mary Kay step one uh, treatment. So I've been using this Mary Kay treatment for over two years or three years or something like that. So I absolutely love it. It's definitely a staple and it really, really does a great job of just rejuvenating your skin, getting all of that dead skin off and just giving you a more renewed look. Why do I like it? It's because it decreases the amount of trips that I have to take to go get a facial from like a salon or something. So for $55 every three to six months, I'm good. My skin stays looking really good and clean and fresh and youthful. 
and I can just do it at home when I'm watching TV or in the shower. Oh, I've always found that that's the perfect time to do it. I don't always do it in the shower, but oh, I just love when I do it in the shower because it just the steam from the shower and just exfoliating and getting all that stuff. It just ooh, it's so serene. Okay, so the next product that I absolutely love to use is from Mac, and this is what the box looks like. And this is what the actual tube looks like. Okay, and it is the Volcanic Ash Exfoliator. It is priced at $29 US dollars, and its claims and benefits are to exfoliate the skin, smooth the skin, it's hydrating, it controls oil, it's for all skin types, and mm, it is used to refine and unclog skin and add instant moisture, leaving your skin feeling soft and comfortably clean okay so here's my spill on this i absolutely love it because you can use this every day now if you have more sensitive skin you know just check it out and see what works for you but for me uh, my skin is not sensitive at all and i can use this every day so it does a great job of really like cleaning your skin and making it feel so so soft just like the mary Kay time wise exfoliating um set however this one like i said you can use it every day i've done it for a while now as you guys if you watch my videos i got a sample size of it and i fell in love with it and so i went out and definitely purchased the regular size and like i said you can use it every day and that's why i love it if if i couldn't use it every day i probably would not have bought it again because the mary Kay one does uh very well but it does um it's black i don't want to squeeze it into my hand but it is black it looks just like charcoal um, or tar or something like that it is grainy but the grains are not as harsh as the one that Mary Kay has so this one here uh, you'll have to use this probably three times just to get the same effect that you would get with the Mary Kay one if you use that one only one time so this one is very very soft and just a little safer to use I never gotten this one in my eyes it doesn't move around as easily it's, the consistency is much thicker than the Mary Kay one but nevertheless it does a great job at cleansing my skin and just making it look really really rejuvenated youthful bright and and it just feels so soft so I did want to say for the first time I used this after I use after I steamed my face for the first time and oh my gosh it felt so amazing. That is what inspired me to do this video because I was like oh my god. This does a great job of making my skin feel so so soft. I promise you I was feeling it and it's like oh my gosh it feels like a baby's bottom. This one does not come with an additional moisturizer. Not as drying as the Mary Kay one. That's why the Mary Kay one has a moisturizer that you put on immediately following the treatment. This one does a great job of leaving just the right amount of, a, of moisture to your face so that you don't have to go in and apply um, anything separate from just your normal moisturizer that you would normally use. So definitely love this one. This one does have like a scent to it. It smells almost... It smells like a clean, cleanser, like, you know, back in the day how all the cleansers they used to have like some kind of scent to it. This one does have a scent to it, but it doesn't smell bad. I really, it, it's almost a little perfume. So, um, it's not anything that makes you want to just frown up your nose or anything like that. So, for a price at $29, you will run through this a little faster if you're like me and you're using it like every day. Uh, I find this to be the best thing to use when I've just had like a real long day, been out in the elements, makeup on all day, and I just need to uh, just detoxify my skin. I feel like this one is the best one um, to use. So I'm almost using it as like a facial cleanser every day instead of just an exfoliator, but it does say volcanic ash exfoliate. So yeah, that is my spill on how I use both of those products and what I think about using both of those products. Now, would I rate one product better than the next? No, I wouldn't. I I feel like they both are very, very strong at what they do. So like I said, I can use the MAC one every day if I want to and I have no problem. But then when I'm looking for it, that real, real, real more um, harsh type of cleanse to my face, I go to the Mary Kay one. 
and it is just excellent to use after you steam your face to help you really really get the rest of that dead skin that the steam might not have um, released that the steaming treatment might not have gotten rid of so for the price point, I think the Mary Kay one is a better price. Although it is priced more, it does last a lot longer. With the MAC one, I feel like I'll be, uh, you know, going back to, or ordering that tube a lot more often. I mean, but I can also look at it as I use that one a lot more, so that might be why. So both of those definitely are staples to my collection, and they do a great job of getting your skin clean and just looking and feeling so wonderful. Alright beauties, thank you for watching my channel. Until next time, bye.